yesterday I was driving somewhere and all of a sudden so many negative thoughts were coming to my mind. Thoughts of what people have done to me. Useless thoughts. And I was starting to feed in more and more into it. And I started to notice that my feelings, my emotions were changing. I was beginning to get irritated. I was beginning to get angry. And I was beginning to feel down at the same time. And this was going on for a good, let's say, three or four minutes, then I don't know what word to use for it. It was like my mind drifted off, if that makes any sense to you. So once I saw that I was thinking about these foolish things, I was like, wait a minute, why am I thinking about things that happened to me back in the past? So I was like, demons, I bind and cast you out. So I went home and I was listening to some teachings about God. And while I was listening to it, here we go again. Thoughts of what people have done to me. And those feelings that I felt back at that time period were trying to enter within myself again. So yesterday, I had to continue to command the demons to leave because they would not quit. And what came to me, maybe an hour ago or less than an hour ago, we know that demons place negative things into our mind, trying to get us to contemplate heavily on the bad things that happened to us, trying to make us sad, trying to make us depressed, trying to get us to hate other people. So what came to me within an hour, why am I only having negative thoughts of what people have done to me? Why aren't I, why aren't I having thoughts of what, of the bad things that I have done to people. Why am I always having thoughts, per se, of what bad things people have done to me? Why aren't I, why aren't I having thoughts of the bad things that I have done to people. Have you thought about that? I know some of you all like to pity yourself. You want the attention to be on you. You want the focus to be on you. Have you thought about why don't you have thoughts of the bad things that you have done to people. But you are constantly having thoughts of the bad things that happened to you. Why is that? Why is that? Have you thought about that? And that came to me, that thought came to me within an hour ago.
if it is a coincidence for random thoughts to come to your mind, why are the thoughts only consist of things that happened to you, but not things, not the bad things that you have done to people? Have you thought about that? Perhaps not. Because what demons want you to do is constantly contemplate and pity yourself about the bad things that happened to you. So you can hate and be more self-centered and try to carry out revenge. Like I was saying to this one person and I continue to see this more, more, and more, and more. Many of the time, not every time, usually when a child, woman or man, get abused, whether in a physical way or a sexual way, usually, sometimes, in some cases, not every time, they turn to witchcraft as they grow up. And the demons continue to feed those negative thoughts into those people. Like I said myself, I serve God. My mind is pretty much always on God, but yet I still have to be cautious of what I think about. I have to be on guard always with my thoughts. Even with the person that thinks about God all day, every day, I still have to be cautious of my thoughts. Because I'm telling you, within those five minutes, I was feeling those emotions that I was feeling back when I got hurt in all of that foolishness then. I was feeling that. And on top of that, I was thinking, I was thinking, or thoughts were coming to my mind of how I can get revenge. A person who serves God. <laughs> <laughs> a person who does not delight in sin. Thoughts were coming to my mind on how I can get revenge on what happened to me. That is crazy. Revenge. I don't think about revenge. <laughs> I think about peace. I think about God. But yet, demons were somehow, I don't know how, were able to place thoughts into my mind, trying to push me back, trying to push me back, all the way back to the way that I was. Those thoughts that are coming to you, it is not a coincidence. It is happening on purpose. It is demons placing those thoughts into your mind. What good fruit can come out of contemplating on negative things? Will God force you, push you to contemplate or fill your mind with negative thoughts. So if it is not God, then it has to be demons. Like I said, a person who serves God, I think about God. I listen to teachings, try to treat people well, obey God's rules and regulations. I am on top of it per se, even still, demons were placing 
<laughs> a person who does not feed into foolishness like that. I don't feed into that, but still, they still try me. So if they try me, and people who are on a higher level than I in, in God, if I am tried, and other people who are stronger in God than I, and you are lukewarm or you are still in sin, surely demons will have you as their main target because it is easier for them to deceive you than people who are actually serving God. Even still, they are still going to try people who serves God. But you continue to take the bait feeding in to those negative thoughts and hating people for things that happened years ago. I remember I was talking to this one person back when I was in sin. And I was telling this person, you know, this person did this to me. This person did that to me. And because of that, I am not going to do anything else for those people. And this person said, that is the past. The past does not matter. And when that person said that, that really got me mad. But as I grow more and more in God, or as I grew more and more in God back then, that came to my mind again. And I have to say what that person said to me is 100% correct. The past does not matter. What happened to you does not matter. Only thing that matters is heaven and hell. <laughs> where you are going to go after death. And if you don't forgive, guess what? You are going here. Think about it. Do you believe that if God would kick out Satan for trying to overthrow God, which is a sin, would God allow more strife into heaven? Think about that. He is not. Because if he does, he have to invite or bring back all the demons and Satan back into heaven if he is going to allow people who hold unforgiveness or start up mess into heaven. He would have to do that because that would be fair. Because how can he let humans that are sinners into heaven but not allow Satan and his demons back into heaven? So if he has thrown out Satan and demons because of sin, surely humans who are in sin, who practice continually in sin, surely they can't get back or go into heaven. I pray that this makes sense. So really take this to heart. God bless.